What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DIY Kari coming back to you with another video. And today we got a super special shoot, special to me, especially, especially to me. This is probably one of my favorite Retro 11 that ever came out. I don't know about y'all, but it's definitely my favorite. And it came from the good people over at bkicks.ru. Before we get into that, y'all know I got to get this out of the way. This is an informational video. This is my opinion only. Everything you hear from this is my opinion and my opinion only. So with that, without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, hit the comments below. I definitely will get back to you. I always answer every single comment, no matter if it's good or bad, questions, whatever. I definitely answer. But let's get right into the shoe. Like I said, this is my favorite shoe. My favorite Retro 11. And it came from the good people over at BKickStyleRU. This is gonna be their information, website, Instagram, WhatsApp, in a coupon code just in case y'all want to go on there shop around get these pick up anything else that y'all see on the website y'all will be able to use that coupon code kari get yourself ten dollars off your entire purchase but without further ado let me go ahead and show the box first get that out of the way for the people that love the boxes it did get a little messed up in transit which that can happen with any shoe box they did devil box it. It just happens. That's all I can say. It's something that happens. But like I said, Retro 11s, Black Varsity, Royal, and White. This is my size, size 10. That is what it comes with, the paper. And it has that little sticker on the inside to help, for, help with mold, any kind of moisture but it's a regular box not a regular box but this is the box that jordan 11's come in see all the labels see the night jordan on the front and nike air on that front but to show y'all the shoe man like i said retro 11s right off the bat y'all see that shiny glossy patent leather on the upper Got the Jordan in the back. Signature Jordan right here. And this does look exactly like the Retro 11s because I have them on the shelf right behind me. It looks exactly like and the perfect. As you see the icy soles with the blue at the forefoot, blue at the heel with the waffle design, Jordan in the middle with that. This is real carbon fiber. Just so y'all can hear it, real carbon fiber. And Man, like I said, these are my favorite Retro 11s. To have these in hand as a low top and I have the high tops, I will do eventually do a comparison video just so y'all can see how good they look together. Favorite insole, gotta have it. They need to be in every shoe, honestly. The Dream Cell, they need to be in every shoe. But you see the blue, Jordan on the bottom, favorite insole, most comfortable insole that you can have in any shoe. Any shoe, like these need to be at all Jordans, including retro ones. Get rid of that little cardboard insole that they come in, come in them. But this is gonna be both pairs. Like I said, that patent leather is super shiny around the whole shoe. Carbon fiber on both shoes. Real carbon fiber. 
Got the 23 at the back on both shoes with that Jordan logo. And these do fit true to size, just let y'all know. No issues there, true to size. Perfect length in the laces, which they're regular laces with the regular tips. I honestly, like there's nothing you can say about this shoe. There's no glue lines, there was no smell. Did not have to let them sit outside. Did not have to hold them down. They have to do nothing. Like this shoe is perfect. Just so y'all can see, I'm not lying about the smell. Cause if they smell, I will not smell. I'm not putting my, my um, face to it. I'm not doing nothing. But they smell great. Out the box, no issues with that. As you say, they came with regular paper when they release. I'm not sure they might come with the the hard insole inserts. I think I got one just so I can give y'all a reference. Should still have mine in here. They might come with these, don't know. But that's how they usually come with the Retro 11s. I haven't bought a pair of Retro 11s in so long, so they might come with that, they might not when they release a few in a couple months. But this is them now. I don't see much changing when they release because man, this is on point. They got everything on point. That's it at the right place, like third, third down. Stitching's on point all the way around. Like I said, there's no glue lines, which you will be able to notice because it's on patent leather and it's white midsole. No glue lines, no flaws whatsoever. B Kicks did a phenomenal job on these, just to give y'all a close up of them. Y'all know that patent leather, it holds fingerprints, so y'all see spots that's because it's my fingerprints <laughs> but if you got any patent leather shoe you know it holds any like spots any anytime you touch it your hand print will be there but man great shoe all the way around from the upper to the outsole to the insole so the carbon fiber, everything's good. Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments. Will you be copying these? Honestly, I want another pair. Just they're real. I want another pair. Just because I love this shoe. And I need another pair. I might be hitting up BKX just to get a second pair, but Top drop, let me know in the comments. I know I'm a, like, this is one of my favorites next to the retro ones. It's the retro 11s. So let me know what y'all think of these in the comments, like I said. And that's, that's pretty much it. Like I don't have nothing else to say about them. It's gonna be your boy DIY Kari signing out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel because I do have more videos on the way. And yeah, we're going to keep rocking. I don't, I'm not even going to show y'all what I got coming up next, but y'all going to like that too. It's definitely something different. Peace.